<coughs> oh fuck. Oh. Oh, that shit is too funny to me. Oh my god. The reason I'm laughing so hard is because I just uploaded a clip applying to uh, this uh, hate comment. Also, before I even talk about that, thank you guys so much for the amount of support that I got on that clip that I uploaded yesterday. Right now, it literally has over 150,000 views. It has over uh, 16 or 17,000 likes, over 400 shares, and over 400 comments. It's just thank you guys so much. That is actually just insane to me. The thing is, I actually wasn't even going to post that clip. The only reason I posted it was because I kind of I needed to post something for the day, right? And so I was just like, all right, you know what? I got this decent clip from my youtube video you know what i might as well just upload it because it's better than nothing and i uploaded it and then i checked it maybe 30 minutes or so later and that shit had so many views and so many comments and likes and everything i was like holy shit it literally got 9,000 views in the first hour and then i woke up in the morning it was at 60k and then now at nighttime it's over 150k it's probably gonna get over 200k in my opinion i've just gotten so many followers from that one clip as you guys know i i follow i try to follow everybody back on my tiktok but there's just so many people that followed me from that one clip that i just i can't follow everybody back there I, it's just not possible i'm not trying to sound cocky or anything i just i would actually sit down and follow everybody that followed me it, it would just i would be sitting there for and the thing is i'm actually pretty sure if you follow too many people at once tiktok actually like bans you or something i don't know maybe i'm tripping but i'm pretty sure i heard that somewhere you can't like spam follow accounts or something like that i, I don't know man tiktok's weird in and of itself they take down my clips for the dumbest shit all the time in that clip i was literally talking about overwatch porn but my clips where i rage get taken down which doesn't make any sense i'm honestly just so scared to get banned on tiktok so i'm being really careful with my content because that's the, the last thing i need and then i'm gonna have to then i'm gonna have to try to get all of the followers i had back and it's just it's just not gonna work i also probably as of recording pretty sure i have over 2,000 followers now so that's pretty cool anyway the reason i was laughing so hard. I haven't even gotten to that. No, speaking of that, hello. Hello, good person. You are now in the video. Anyway, the reason I was laughing so hard is because somebody commented that I sound like a Mickey Mouse. A bunch of people were saying that, by the way. To be honest with you, I really don't see it. But I, I mean, okay, I guess. I have noticed, though, when I talk really fast, my voice actually tends to get a little bit higher. I don't really know why. People were saying that I sound like a Mickey Mouse and Gary V. And I actually didn't know who Gary V was. He's like this, uh, he's like this motivational entrepreneur type guy. Gary V, I can see myself sounding like him, actually. Just a little bit. But Mickey Mouse, nah, that's just OD. You can say my voice sounds a little more higher pitched than the average male. I don't care if you say that because I do believe you to some extent. I don't think my voice is that deep at all. But like, I definitely don't sound like Mickey Mouse. I don't know, man. People always just hate, especially TikTok. TikTok in general, just people just hate so much. Obviously, you guys don't hate on me, like, you know, because you guys fuck with me. I mean, at least I hope so. The people who don't follow me that comment on my videos, they are actually ruthless. What was I supposed to do there? I was actually getting a shit ton of hate for that clip. I was pretty much just talking about how um, Overwatch fumbled the bag and how Overwatch could be up there right now with uh, Call of Duty, Fortnite, you know, basically all those super popular games right now. And I was basically saying that Overwatch could be there. Overwatch developers didn't make literally every single mistake known to video game and immoral history. Anyway, and you know how people are with opinions. You, you basically can't have an opinion on the internet unless you want to get flamed. Personally, I don't give a shit what people think, so I'm going to stay my opinion regardless. But yeah, people are basically just calling me stupid, saying I'm an idiot, saying that uh, I'm high on copium. The guy who said that is not wrong. There is definitely a level of copium that I have in that clip. And then people start taking it to the next level, saying that... I sound like Mickey Mouse and all this other bullshit. That's just part of putting yourself out there on the internet. That's gonna happen whether you're the nicest person on the planet or not. People are just aren't going to like you for whatever dumbass reason they have. This guy literally only got our far in the graph. How do you manage to do that? Wait, where's the cart? The cart is all the way back here. That fight was basically pointless. Oh my gosh. I I'm so sorry. I I'm so bad at staying on topic. Basically, okay, so I'm just gonna keep it short because I know I'm gonna get off topic again. The reason I was laughing so hard is because I replied to that comment with a video. The video was funny as hell in my opinion. I was basically just being super sarcastic. I put like a water bottle to my eyes to make it seem like I was crying and shit. I don't know. It was pretty funny in my opinion. Maybe I just have a terrible sense of humor. You can go check it out if you want. And then one of, one of y'all actually replied to that guy and said, bro, you post Fortnite clips with the dead emoji you know the skull like the dead skull emoji dude i literally saw that and that shit just had me cracking up so hard oh my gosh y'all are funny as hell bro first of all anybody who watches me is funny attractive sexy muscular bulk anything you can think of if you follow me literally your anatomy and your personality just changes into a god listen y'all the sec you click subscribe to avocado jelly everything about you fucking just upgrades you literally become a thanos when you subscribe to me you become goku you become thanos you become luffy you become any of your favorite anime characters combined into one you become a god when you subscribe to me I... <laughs> that is a Oh, I'm alive. So listen, if you want to upgrade your life, you might want to consider clicking that sub button. Listen, I'm just trying to help you all out. Y'all can confirm, okay? My subscribers can confirm. The second they click to subscribe to Avocado Jelly, their life changes. They get a million dollars. They become a millionaire. They become a trillionaire. 
they get everything they wanted. I might become one of those stereotypical YouTubers. All right, guys, make sure to smash that like button, bruise it up, you know. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment, you know, share it to your friends so they can have a good laugh too. And uh, yeah. Now traveling to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I rocked the New York Excelsior skin. I don't even watch Overwatch League. I used to be into Overwatch League back when uh, Overwatch was really, really popular. Like back when it was Game of the Year type shit, like 2017. I'm talking about back when like Muzelk made Overwatch content. You know, you guys know who Muzelk is? I actually don't know. I'm pretty sure Muzelk makes Fortnite content now, but I used to watch him a lot. Him, um, Baza Gaza. Oh, uh, what was that girl's name? She was like the Australian Pokemon. Damn, I forgot her name. It was like Fruit something. Oh, Loser Fruit. Yeah, I used to watch her a lot too. That whole Australian squad I used to watch. She was named Zilbrad. I don't even know. Maybe I was the only people who actually watched them. But... And then once Overwatch started getting less popular, they switched to Fortnite. I watched a couple of their Fortnite videos. After that, I kind of just stopped watching them because... I don't know. I, I was never a big Fortnite guy. I only used to play Fortnite because all my friends played it. That's the only reason I ever played Fortnite. Like, I never played Fortnite by myself like I do in this game. Me and my friends actually met up at my house one day and we watched Overwatch League on the big screen. It was like a hype-ass match, too. I think it was New York versus, uh... It was New York versus one of the really good teams. If there's one Overwatch League team that I do support, though, it's definitely New York Excelsior because they commented on one of my videos. We had like chips, popcorn, all those nice little snacks. Ooh, that shit was so fun, man. I wish I could go back to those days. I wish I could go back to those days and OG OG Fortnite days. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm, I'm about to shed a tear. I really miss those days. They, they were just so much fun. Gaming was so much fun because you used to play with your friends. Now your friends don't even get online anymore because they're too busy with their girlfriends or with school and all this other bullshit. Damn, I miss those days. All right, let's talk about something nice, guys. Um, one thing that I do see good about nowadays video gaming is that, uh, you know, other kids that were my age, or maybe your age at one point, because you could probably relate to that, they're having the same exact thing, except with, like, Fortnite now. Which is why, as much as I do hate, like, Fortnite and all these Battle Royales and all this other shit, Battle Royales is what the next generation of gaming is... That's gonna be, like, their childhood. You know what I mean? Fortnite is gonna be their childhood. TikTok's gonna be their childhood, which is... Kind of, kind of sad. I mean, if I mean, if TikTok is your childhood, I kind of feel bad for you. How did I I'm being a hater. I'm being a hater. As much as that app is nice for small creators, when it comes to like viewage wise, I just think TikTok is really dumb. It's like musically, y'all remember musically? I'm actually pretty sure TikTok is like the what's the word? The predecessor. Is that the word? The predecessor? Or like the one that came after musically? Because it was musically, and then musically died, and then I'm pretty sure the same creators made TikTok. I am so glad people haven't found my musicallys because if they do, ooh. It's 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 not gonna be nice for me. It's not gonna look good for me at all. Nothing actually bad on there. It's just extremely cringy. Ustia! Yes, Anna. Yes, Anna. Hey! Bustio over over attack visor. I'm so sorry, Ash. I could have saved you. I knew he was gonna do that shit too, but for some reason I went for the boop before. I don't. Why did I do that? That was arguably one of the dumbest things I've ever done in my entire Overwatch career. I booped the Reaper. Why would I even think that was a decent idea? I'm, I'm terrible at Lucio. You guys actually just shouldn't watch me anymore. Honestly, just unsubscribe. I just stared at a Doomfist and he died. Hook me! Hook me! Dumbass. Fuck a shit up! Fuck a shit up! Fuck a shit up! Just try that bond though. Nice. Is that a Doomfist? <laughs> oh man, let's get booped, son. Oh, my camera's being weird. What? What is my camera doing? Please don't tell me it's been doing this the entire time. You know what? It's fine. If it is, I'll just not add the camera. I honestly don't even think the camera is that that necessary. Like, yeah, it definitely helps a lot, but I actually don't think a camera is 100% necessary for content. Well, I wonder what Overwatch feels like for new players. Because I honestly don't remember what Overwatch felt like. I feel like for new players, Overwatch just feels like a clusterfuck. With all the ultimates and all the sounds and shit that happens in the game, I guarantee you people probably just get so confused and they're like, what is happening? Watch this boop, y'all. Oh, poor Rosa. All right. Well, that's game. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my videos and on my TikTok clips and everything like that. It really does mean a lot to me. My most recent video and my most recommended video for you is going to pop up on the screen right now. So if you're going to check any of those out, go ahead. And yeah, it's been this Why would she fuck with a born ass nigga when she could be fucking a rapper?